MLB The Show's coverage of Major League Baseball is on the air. Opening day is here as we get the new season underway with a good matchup between the New York Yankees and the Baltimore Orioles. Hi again, everybody. It's finally here. Welcome to our special opening day edition of Baseball on the Show. I'm joined by Dan Plezak and Dan as we get things going this season it's pitching that has to be key if this team's going to have success you know I always think pitching and defense are the keys to success in the long run so as the season gets started it's going to be really important for this pitching staff to set a good tone if they can get off on a good foot it will do a lot for the confidence of the entire ball club the games count starting now it's opening day it's the show and it's coming up next. John Means gets the call to pitch here on opening day in front of the hometown crowd. Dan Plezak, what's the word on him? Hey, it's hard to have all four of your pitches on, but I think if this guy can have two or three of his four pitches and have command of them, he's going to have a really good game. And that sends DJ LeMayhew into the, the box. The and we are ready for some daytime baseball. DJ LeMayhew. First pitch of the at bat on its way. And the first pitch of the ball game is taken for a called strike one, and a new season of baseball is underway. Well, you don't need us to tell you it's really starting to come down out there. I can't imagine the umpires will let this go too much longer if it doesn't ease up. Well, you could say that again, Matt. It's raining cats and dogs out there. Make sure you don't step in a poodle. I think it's time to get the grounds crew out. A 1 1 is a slider taken for a ball. Two, one. To two and two now. Two, two, yeah. Now the pitch. Liner towards second. Well, this will be taken in at second base. Good positioning for the first down. Got it, second. The book ball. Labor. Torres. So the base is empty here with one away. And that will bring up Glaber Torres. Ready to deliver. Here's the first pitch. Good change up there to start him, but it drops a little low for ball one. Means has a reputation as a strike thrower, although that doesn't often result in a ton of strikeouts. A typical start may find him with a low walk total and the ball in play a lot. Matty, he's what they call today one of those pitch to contact kind of guys. He has good stuff, not great stuff. He relies a lot on his defense. And one of the keys, he's not afraid to throw the ball in the strike zone. With that said, he needs some defense behind it because he's not going to get a whole lot of swings and misses. In front of the changeup, and he can't keep it fair. Two strikes on him now. Ah, had him fooled as he swings through the curveball. Two down. Pretty textbook breaking ball for the punch out right there. Got it to bend a lot, and by the time it got there, it had fallen completely out of the zone. Not much you can do with that pitch. And that'll bring up Aaron Judge. And he's a bit tardy there on the first pitch fastball. It's nothing in one. Bases are empty here with two men out. A swing, and this one is blasted to right field. Nothing's going to stop it. Into the flag court and gone. A solo home run there for Aaron Judge. First home run of the campaign for him as the Yankees will grab a one to nothing lead.
Well, after a long winter and a grueling spring, everyone is anxious to get the season started, but to start it off with a home run? There's no better way to get your campaign underway. He was rounding the bases thinking, hey, this is going to be a good year. Batting four. At the plate the now, Gary Sanchez. Gary, yeah. Sanchez. As the first pitch what here's a bit high, it's ball one. Really starting to pour now, and the forecast is not showing any signs of a break in the weather. You know, one of the big issues is player safety, and right now this field is getting sloppy wet, Matt, and I don't know how much more rain this field can take. One and one to count. Two out, nobody on. Just off the outside that time, laid off for a ball. Looks like that bomb earlier in the inning kind of put this pitcher on the defensive. Not being very aggressive right now. He's fallen behind now, three and one. This is where you cash your checks right here. Three one, you're one of the best hitters in the game. You live for situations like this. Swing and a miss, good pitch, and it's full now, three and two. Hey, after that extra base hit, things could go awry. He did, and he battled right back in the zone with a nice executed pitch. And that finds some outfield grass. It's a base hit. So he wins the full count battle and finds a way to extend the inning. No mistake what he was sitting on. Fastball, middle of the plate, kept his hands back, stayed through the baseball, and delivers a hard hit line drive. Here's Brett Gardner now as he pops the first pitch foul behind the plate. He takes his first cuts in this one with a man at first and two away. Off the outside that time as the breaking ball can't catch the zone. Gardner. Is just shy of six feet at 5'11, a left handed batter and thrower. This is his first year at the big league level. Yeah, Maddie, this guy has had an amazing career. And you know what? It's a testament to how hard he's worked, the changes he's had to make. This is a game of adjustments, and you don't hang around this long if you're not prepared to make some adjustments along the way. Three and one now to Brett Gardner. Call didn't go his way on two and one, but it's important here on three and one to still make a quality pitch. You have to have the mindset that you're still the one in the driver's seat. Hitters count all the way. Here it comes. And a good at bat that time as he lays off for ball four. And as a result, that'll move a runner up into scoring position now with two away. Oh, man, I think this walk is going to grind at him for a bit. He just missed. And now the inning continues with the man in scoring position. Now in the box, Giancarlo Stanton. And the Yanks trying to make this first inning even sweeter here. As a look, now the pitch. Tried to check it, and it's 0-1. This is exactly the situation you drew up from an offensive standpoint. Good pitcher on the mound, but you got a chance to bury him early in this one. <laughs> Off the plate, one ball, one strike. One and two now as that one's fouled off. One and two. Here it is. Again, he sends it out of play. From the stretch, the one two. And this is hit hard to the right side, but foul. Well, somebody's sitting off speed right here. Only way he was laid on that heater is he was expecting another changeup. Late making contact on that swing, and we'll do it again on one and two. A 
again another foul ball. Sanchez at second Gardner at first two out in the inning. And it's fouled away. Uh, trying to pick up that outside corner but this misses and it's back to even at two balls and two strikes. The 2 2 pitch. Hey this has been an epic at bat right here. I don't blame the pitcher for a little nibbling right there. Maybe get a swing and a miss. He didn't bite on that one so now we go full count. And he fouls this one off. Hit hard towards center. And that's in there. Base hit. And the run's going to come into score from second as they grab a two to nothing lead now. Boy, what a battle there, D. Rose. Several pitch at bat right there. He threw everything but the kitchen sink. And he was still able to get an RBI base hit. And Dan, I can't tell you, the longer the ABs go, usually, I'll tell you, you get in that swing mode where if he throws the rosin bag, you're pulling the trigger on it. Wait for him to settle in his zone and not come outside of it and end up getting a knock. That'll bring in Giovanni Urshela as the first pitch to him is in there for a called strike one. I think this inning could have far-reaching effects in this game. They're really making him work, and unless he dials it in, it's probably going to limit how deep he goes into this game. Here's the 0-1. Fastball well outside. Here's the 1-1. Hit down the third baseline. But a foul ball, one and two now. A swing and a ground ball to third. Oh, and he can't come up with it. And the runner scores from third as they extend their lead. It's a 3 nothing game. Yeah, and with two outs, the pitcher was mentally in the dugout already. Now he's got to regroup and find a way to get out of this. Hard not to feel for the guy. Into the box now. Luke Voigt. Another first inning RBI opportunity for him here. From the belt, the pitch. Hey, the way this guy on the mound's been struggling to find his own, I'm not mad at the guy taking the pitch. On its way, the 0 1 pitch. Now a swing and a fly ball, but this will land untouched. And he strikes him out here, so he's able to stop the bleeding a bit as the side is retired. So three runs on three hits, including the home run. One error in the inning, and two men left on base. We'll move on to the bottom half of inning number one. It's the Yankees three, and the Orioles nothing. Garrett Cole is on the mound for the season opener on the road in this one. What's your take on him, Dan? Hey. You don't see a lot of guys that have five pitches, right? Sometimes it's hard to master even two or three. But if you can master five like he has, he'll be in pretty good shape. At the plate, Jose Iglesias. He'll lead things off here in the bottom half of the first. Not shortstop. The pitch. Iglesias. Fastball just misses. That's ball one. The 1 0. Hey. Oh, up there. Oh. And he 
He misses low here, so the count goes to three and one. He's only four pitches in, but he doesn't look too sharp to start the day off. The three one. And that misses ball four. So that's just what you hope for here in the first. Base runners as you try to claw back into this one. You know, it takes a lot of discipline to watch a pitch like that go by. But on a 3-1 count, he had the luxury of being a little bit more selective up there. Good take and a walk is the result. So here's Trey Mancini. First chance for him here with a man on following the leadoff walk. From the belt, the pitch. Hey. Very rarely does a pitcher like this leave one in a location like that. That's a pitch right there he'd like to have back. He'd love to swing at that one again. Breaking ball that time that misses out of the zone. A runner at first with no outs here. Hit back up the middle. Torres scoops it up. LeMayhew for one. Devoit in time for the double play. Batting first. The second baseman. Ramon Urias. At the plate, Ramon Urias. No one on base for him after the double play. Yeah, Matt, that two ball really changed the complexion of this inning. It looked like the middle of the order was going to have a chance to get a big hit with some ducks on the pond, but now they just have to try and get a two out rally started. First pitch of the at bat on its way. Ball one, no sight. Let's get it going, boys. Somebody's loose, hitting 98 with ease in the first inning. A little too much bite on the breaking ball that time as it's well off the outside. Big sweeping breaking ball right there. Good pitch. But if he wants to get him to swing at it, he'll have to bring it in a little bit closer to the strike zone. Bases are empty here with two men out. This one's outside quite a bit off the plate that time. Renato Nunez would be next if they can keep this inning alive. Ready on three and one. Here it comes. Inside he misses ball four. We knew coming into this game that this guy has a tendency to give up a lot of free passes. And history repeats itself as he's already given up two walks here. I'll tell you, effectively wild is a pretty tough thing to be. Now with the plate, Renato Nunez. He takes his first cuts in this one with a man at first and two away. Has a look, now the pitch. And that's taken for strike one. A runner on first with two away. Now a throw over and the runner back safely. Here's the 0 1 pitch. Pitch is mishandled behind the plate and it bounces away. And he'll make it to second here as he's moved into scoring position now after the passed ball. And this is why you can't lose focus for a second when you're behind the plate. Any mistake a catcher makes has serious consequences. This is a pass ball, and the runner moves into scoring position. Now the one and one pitch. I got two one the count. Two out here and a runner at second. Can't find the zone there, and it's three and one. This is a spot you like to be in as a good hitter. Runners in scoring position and count leverage in your favor. And the good fastball there finds the zone as the count goes full now. Three and two. 
you know he wants to end this inning right here on three and two but I don't think we'll see him lay one in on the next pitch there with a base open to work with full count still seventh pitch of the at bat coming up lifted into the air to shallow center Gardner is there makes the catch and the side is retired a couple of walks but no damage back with more of this Thursday afternoon business person special following this. Second inning upcoming from Baltimore but first here's Heidi Watney with a little bit more on the forecast. Well, Matt, it doesn't appear that we're going to get much of a break from this rain at all as the game progresses. However, I am also hearing that this rain isn't supposed to intensify too much. The grounds crew will be on standby just in case the umpires do call a delay. But the goal is to get this one in uninterrupted. Yeah, Heidi, and thanks. Even with all the technology that we have today to be able to forecast the weather accurately, one never knows what Mother Nature has in store. High and tight here to begin the inning. It's ball one. Well, that rain is really coming down right now. It's raining cats and dogs. You got to make sure you don't step in a poodle. That's as hard as I've seen it rain all afternoon. Everyone, it's so much harder to concentrate when it rains. Out in front of a fastball as this is ripped down the left field line. That's going to be a fair ball. And now it'll kick around in the corner. And he'll pull into second here with nobody out. No doubt about it. He was looking fastball all the way there, and that's exactly what he got. Got the barrel out front and just blasted it down the line for an extra base hit. Nobody out. Runner in scoring position. Great opportunity here. Here's the second baseman, D.J. LeMayhew, as he will look at a first pitch fastball for ball one. 0 for 1 here in the early going. The 1-0 home. It is a fastball in off the plate for a ball. He might still be thrown off from that first inning, guys. He got knocked around pretty good, and that can be hard to recover from mentally sometimes. Here it comes, 2-0. The count now at 2-1. From the stretch. Off speed pitch just missed inside. You can really tell about how effective this guy's going to be when guys are swinging at that changeup. So far in this one, they've been real smart to let it go. The 3 1. Skied in the air to straightaway left. Santander waits on it. One away. Now batter. Shortstop. Labor. Torres. Now to the plate. Torres. He was a strikeout victim in his first try. He's set and the pitch. Count and a fastball misses here to start the at bat. It's 1 and 0. Swung on and missed. 1 and 1. From the belt, kicks and deals. Fouled away. Runner at second here with one man out. And a little tapper here in front of the mound as this may work as a sacrifice. 
Hey, that's great hustle right there out of the box. Not everybody's the getting it right out of the shoot it. from step one, Aaron. but I have to ask you, Dan, yeah. how frustrating executing a pitch and there's an infield knock. It is, D. Roy, and you can read that right off the bat as a pitcher. You can read the angle, and you know that that ball is going to be hit on the ground, and you're thinking deep down inside, okay, there's a quick out, and it just wasn't meant to be. Here's big Aaron Judge. It'll die on the warning track as the catch is made. And here comes the runner from third. And the run is in to score from third. That makes it a 4-0 ball game. Great job there by this power hitter. Known for driving the ball out of the ballpark. Does the job right there with the sack fly and brings the run home. Standing in, Gary Sanchez. He singled and scored in his first appearance in this one. from the stretch and that misses ball one into the corner and slicing foul Sanchez is a prolific power hitter and you probably didn't need me to tell you that doesn't matter what kind of pitching he faces there's a lot of pop in that bat the one one Oh, that's off the plate. Ball two. Two out with the man at first. Fouled off. Swing and a miss. Blew the fastball right by him, and the inning is over. A run on two hits and they leave one. We'll go to the bottom half of inning number two. The Yankees lead it four to nothing. Anthony Santander the next to bat. And they've got some work to do early on. Down four nothing already. Infield in the overshift here. Now the pitch. The wind up and the 0 1. Swing and a miss, and he's in the hole 0 2 now. Now a changeup locks him up as he looks at strike three called, one away. Flat out locked him up with the changeup right there. Usually you're trying for a swing and miss when you throw that pitch in a two strike count, but clearly he wasn't looking for it. So it's a backwards K for him. Pedro Severino digs in at the plate as he will take a look at a fastball in there as that strike zone expands just a little it's 0 and 1. Bases are empty one man out. Chased a low ball there and he's quickly down in the count 0 and 2. Nothing in two count and the pitch. Tries the slider to ring him up but he lays off one and two. Good pitch there on 0 and 2 breaking ball out of the zone away might set up another breaking ball to see if he'll chase this one a little bit farther off the plate. He takes strike three called on the fastball couldn't pull the trigger and there are two away. Well that call looked like it was a little in the pitcher's favor but it wasn't outrageous. Hey listen calling balls and strikes is a really tough job and even the best are going to miss some from time to time especially when they're sort of borderline like that last one. Not sure the hitter would want to hear that though. First pitch of the at bat. In there for strike one. That's why this guy is great. Never misses over the heart of the plate. It's got electric stuff, but pinpoint control to all four quadrants. And it's fouled away. Two out, nobody on. Judge is there, and he'll make the catch to retire the side. Three up, three down for the Orioles. They trail here four to nothing.
Welcome back. Here's Heidi Watney with a report as we get set for the top of the third. Heidi. Thanks, Matt. I talked with the Yankees manager Aaron Boone during the break about the team's offensive performance so far. And flat out, he was very pleased with the quality of their at-bats. They've already put four runs on the board, and they've done so by running up their opponent's pitch count. So he said he thinks they're going to have a lot more opportunities to score because of that as the game goes on. Good stuff, Heidi. Thanks. Settling in now, Brett Gardner. He scored after reaching on a walk in his first at-bat. Right. Here's the pitch. Right. And we'll start the inning off with an easy fly ball to straightaway left. Santander's got it, and there's one away. Now back. Next for New York, Giancarlo Stanton Giancarlo. looking to follow up the RBI single from his first at bat. Here it comes. Now a swing and the barrel of the bat breaks in two that time. Started to go around there but he holds up ball one. One out nobody on. A ball and two strikes. And this is taken for a ball high and tight. Two and two. Well, two straight fastballs inside haven't put him away. So now it'll be interesting to see what he turns to. Change up taken for ball three well below the zone. Popped him up. Severino over to his right. And he brings it in for the second out of the inning. Now At the plate, Her Gio Urshela. He comes Gio. in 0 for 1 on the day Urshela. thus far after reaching on an error his first time up. Now here's the pitch. Yeah. Outside target here, and he hits it for strike one. We're only in the third inning, and his pitch count is above 60. That's not being too efficient with your pitches. Here's the 0-1. Here's the fastball that gets the lower part of the zone called for a strike. Hey, back to back, same pitch, same spot. Don't be shocked if he goes right back out there. If I'm a hitter, that's where I'm sitting. Everyone would think he wants to go somewhere else. He might go right exactly to the same spot. One ball and two strikes to count. The one two he is swung on and missed strike three. One, two, three, go the Bombers. But they hold a four to nothing lead. Now batting, Cedric Mullins. Lead He'll lead things oh, off oh, against oh. Garrett Cole. Lots of baseball left Number in this 31. one as we're still early on, but you don't want to fall too far behind. They're already down by a bundle, and one of the things you want your leadoff guy to get on and set the table for the big boys to start driving in some runs. One strike now from Cole. And it's belted high and deep into right center. Gardner going back. Gone! Solo shot to right center. First home run of the campaign for him. As they get on the board, it's 4-1 to one now. Hey, every once in a while, the speed guy will jump up and bite one. He absolutely crushed that baseball. Doesn't fit his usual tool description. But he can go deep if you leave one over the heart of the plate. And digging into the batter's box will be Hanser Alberto. As he'll take a look at a slider here that misses for ball one. Here it comes, 1-0. And, oh. and 
and that pitch misses in the dirt, and it's 2-0 and now. Now ball two. Back-to-back -back breaking pitches. I think if right now you really have to try to get the best pitch you can get in the zone, you have to throw it right here. In there, 2-1. and one. Gutsy pitch right there. 2-0 changeup for a strike. Good call by the catcher. Great execution by the pitcher. Now a hard liner. But this will be a foul ball. And he fouls this one off. The 2 2 one more time. And he lays off, so it's full now, three and two. You could pretty much book it that a fastball's coming. A challenge fastball right here. He cannot allow the nine hole hitter to get on base with the top of the order looming. Swing and a miss on the fastball, and that's the first out. Man, I love watching a pitcher that just rears back and blows smoke by a guy at the letters. That's the ultimate challenge pitch, and for me personally, watching hitters swing and miss, man, that's a sight of beauty. Here's the shortstop now, Jose Iglesias. As he'll go after the first pitch and promptly line one into left center field and that's going to get down for a base hit. Now that the right fielder, Ray Mancini. And here's the big right-handed power threat, Trey Mancini. One in, one out, and one on here in the inning. It's coming. Here it is. And he throws the fastball by him here. 0 and 1. Good thing he didn't make contact with that pitch. Only thing he could do is probably hit that on the ground. It could be a double play ball. Oh, I had him reaching at no thin ball. air that time, and he's very quickly down 0 and 2. Man, that pitch had the look of a fastball. Straight changeup, and the bottom fell out of it. Here it comes, 0-2. A swing and a miss for out number two, and a ball he had no chance of making contact with. That's not an at-bat he's going to look back on and be happy now about. Bad. Obviously, the strikeout the result season. isn't good, but to go down on three pitches, and none of which were even in the strike zone, as you see there, that's not a good look. To the plate now, Ramon Urias. As the first pitch to him runs a bit inside for ball one. He drew a base on balls his first time up. Well below the knees, laid off on the changeup there. They obviously circled him before the game that they were not going to let him beat them. Walked him this first time up, and now they're nibbling again. Over the outside half, and it's two and one. Fouled away. A runner on first with two away. And a good fastball swung on and missed per strike three, and the inning is over. Orioles draw closer on the home run. We played three full, the Yankees four, and the Orioles one. Ready now, Luke Voigt. 0 for 1 for him here in this one. One of the keys to securing a win, they want to keep the pressure on and try to build that lead as much as they can moving into the later innings. First offering on its way. Well, it's been a rough one so far. Four runs through three innings. It's about time to get that pitch count down or he won't be out here very long. On its way, the 0-1 pitch. Tried to get him to go after the slider, but it's one and one. Voigt 
Originally from the state of Missouri, this is his first year at the big league level. Ah, and that fastball is too much for him there, one and two. Some action out in the bullpen, couple of right-handers starting to loosen up. A ball and two strikes, here's the pitch. And this is swung on and missed, and this fourth inning will start the same way he ended the third with a strikeout, and there's one away. That's his second strikeout of the now game. Back. I wouldn't be surprised if a coach good. finds him in the dugout and gives him a little talk that about shortening up and putting the ball in play. Good things tend to happen when you do that in these kinds of conditions. And that'll bring up Miguel Andujar. Yes, he'll take a cold strike at the knees. It's 0-1. One for one as he reached base with a double his first time up. Into the windup, here comes the 0 and 1. Now a ball lined to the left side, but foul. Into the windup, here comes the 0 2 pitch. Four runs, five hits, and no errors for the Yankees so far. into center field line drive base hit yeah and you can take a look at his numbers here with that one out single he's flirting with a little trouble here again you'd like to see him find a way to get out of this inning and battle for another inning or so but you also don't want him to give up a big number In now, D.J. LeMayhew, as he'll take a look at ball one. He's hitless in his two at-bats so far. One and zero pitch on the way. Slow roller left side. And he won't even think about second as he'll flip on to first for the sure out. Now that and that'll bring up Glaber Torres. One for two in the ball game thus far. As a look, now the pitch. Tried to check it and it's 0-1. speed pitch here but it dips below the knees evening us at one and one from the belt the pitch hey, hey this is a big pitch right here can't allow them to attack on any more runs let's see if he attacks his own or buries something in the dirt hit weakly back to the mound Throw on to Davis takes care of him and that'll end the inning. So no runs here on a base hit no errors and one man left aboard to the bottom of inning number four we go the Yankees four and the Orioles one. And here's Renato Nunez. Off. Hey, we're still in the early stages in this one. They're only down by a couple of runs, but it's really key for this leadoff guy to try to get on and get a big inning started. Ready to deliver. Here's the first pitch. Fouled off. This guy's been really on point so far, but it's not getting any easier. He has to get through four, five, and six right here. That misses wide. One ball and one strike. A two and one count to Nunez. The two one. Takes a pass and misses. That's strike two. Swing and a miss as he ran the fastball right by him for the first down. Anytime a pitcher locates a fastball on the inside corner, it's going to be a tough pitch to hit. That one was spot on, and he had no answer for it. 
Into the box now, Anthony Santander. He swings and sends it in the air out to left center. Stanton has a read on it, makes the play, and there are two gone now. In now for the O's, Pedro Severino. He got called out on strikes his last time through. Yeah, Matty, and he was locked up by a good fastball for strike three last time. I'm interested to see if they attack him the same way. Come at him with hard velo late or snap something off in the dirt to see if he'll fish. Off the plate, one ball, one strike. And he'll fall behind now to one and two. And he struck him out, his seventh of the ball game, and that ends the inning. One, two, three, go the Orioles. And this is still a four one ball game. Dylan Tate is out from the bullpen now as he'll make his first appearance here on the season. Number 55, Dylan Tate. Into the box now, Aaron Judge. He'll start things out as we begin the fifth. Aaron Judge. Ready with the first pitch. Here it comes. 80. 0 and 1. And there's a fastball well off the plate inside. Pretty good pitch right there. Fastball in off the plate. One of the things you want to do as a pitcher, try to stand those hitters up. And it's a ball and two strikes now to Aaron Judge. One ball, two strikes. The one two. Gary Sanchez will be next. Now the three and two pitch. Hit the other way out toward right field. Therefore, it is Mancini, and that's the first out of the inning. There's a look at the final line for the Orioles starter. Not the opening day he wanted to have, unfortunately. Yeah, nothing seemed in sync for him out there in this one, Matt. He just couldn't get the ball where he wanted to, and the opponents really took advantage of that. That's a brutal feeling sitting in the dugout. Know that you disappointed your team, and you went out there and laid an egg. He's ready. Here's the first offering. Gary Sanchez is next as he finds himself behind 0-1. He'll be fine coming out of the bullpen in this one if he can keep the ball around the knees like that. Fifth inning here in a 4-1 ball game. And that misses 1-1. One and one. Can't keep the weight back, and he falls behind one and two. And the pitch. And it's fouled away. The one two. Another one sent foul. Four runs, six hits, and no errors for the Yankees so far. Swung on, and he went fishing in the dirt. Severino finds it, and the throw to first is there to record the second out. Stepping in and ready for another shot, Brett Gardner. 0 for 1 with a run scored thus far. First pitch of the at-bat on its way. A 1 count, here's the pitch. Bases are empty here with two men out. 
in an off speed pitch swung on and missed and with that the side is retired. So the Yanks go one two three but they lead it four to one. Welcome back for the bottom of the fifth. Here's Heidi Watney. Matt, I had a chance to discuss the state of the Orioles offense with their manager between innings, and he told me the quality of their swings needs to improve as the game moves forward. They're struggling to drive the baseball into the gaps right now as only one of their hits has been for extra bases. That makes it pretty tough to generate runs, but he said it's up to everyone in the lineup to make the necessary adjustments. It hasn't gone their way to this point, but that shouldn't mean they can't put together some great swings the rest of the Leading way. Off. Thank you, Heidi. The first baseman, Chris Davis. First offering on its way. Chris nope. Davis is in for his second plate appearance as he looks at a ball. It's 1-0. Now here's the pitch. Hey! One and one. A ball and two strikes now. One ball, two strikes. The count. And he fouls this one off. Now the pitch. That misses, and we're even at two and two. Now a ball lined to the left side. But this is a foul ball. And another foul ball. Fouled away. The 2-2 two -two one more time. High in the air out to center field. After it is Gardner. He can't get there in time. And now it hops over the wall for a ground rule double. Well, that will bring a smile to a manager's face every single time. First hitter of the inning just squares it up and bounces it over the fence. Even if it stays in the yard, that's a double either way. Trying to pick things up where we left off. Cedric Mullins. The last at bat, Matty B. We heard this guy's a good fastball hitter. He got a fastball and didn't miss it. We'll see if they pitch him a little bit differently this time and mix in some off speed pitches. First pitch coming. Here it is. Way behind that pitch. It's 0 1. Man, this guy's been incredibly efficient so far in this one, mostly because he's getting ahead. 70% of the batters he's faced, he's thrown a first pitch strike to. The 1-1. One, one. We got two balls, one strike. To two and two now. Two balls, two Look at the radar gun on that slider. Off speed pitch, 91 miles an hour. That's just pure filth. Here now the 2-2. Two, two. Is swung on and missed strike three. Hey, I'm not sure what he was sitting on right there. I might have been sitting on an off speed pitch, but instead he gets the fastball way late, had no chance to put that ball in play. At the plate, Hanser Alberto, as he takes a cold strike at the knees, it's 0 1. Alberto. Is just shy of six feet at 5'11, a right handed batter and thrower. This is his first year at the big league level. On its way is pitch number 75. That's in there, and he's deep in the hole now, 0 2. Swung on and lifted in the air to left center. After it is Gardner. He tracks it down and makes the play to record the second out. 
So the lineup flips over and digging in. Jose Iglesias. It was a single for him in his last at bat. Yeah, and they take another single right here. That third base coach is dying to wave his arms. I wouldn't be surprised if anything hit hard through the infield. He's going to wave them. One ball, no strikes to count. The 1 0 delivery. And a fastball that's about off the radar screen there. It's 2 and 0. Full sets. Here it comes. Trey Mancini would be next. The 3-0 pitch. And that misses ball four. So it's first and second now with two out. Three of those pitches were definitely out of the zone, but that last pitch looked pretty oh darn good to me. You're not usually going to get many favorable calls on 3-0, and though. You have to earn that spot. Ready once again, Trey Mancini. He comes in 0 for 2 thus far. Looking to wiggle out of this. Here it is. Here's the 1 0. One ball, one strike. Two down, runners at first and second. Two balls and a strike. Has to be a challenge pitch coming up here. He probably doesn't want to flirt with loading the bases. The 2 1. Hey! Down the third baseline. But a foul ball as it holds it two and two. Did a good job to shorten up and protect the plate, and he'll have another shot at it here. Another 2 2 offering. Now a ball lined to the left side, but foul. Here's another 2-2. And he's got himself another one as he picks up strikeout number nine here, and the side is retired. Orioles strand a couple. They trail it 4-1. to one. Now at the plate, Giancarlo Stanton. A hit in two tries so far. Giancarlo Stanton. Here's the first pitch to him. Ah. It looked like the fastball got away from him there. That was a tempting pitch to swing at right there. A big power guy like this really wants something that he can elevate and drive out of the ballpark. Two balls and a strike to count. Now the 2 1. There's a fastball that misses. Gio Urshela is on deck. Tough pitch to lay off, but he did, and it's ball four, so the leadoff hitter is aboard to start the sixth. Looked like he might have gotten squeezed a little bit right there, and you know he's talking to himself in his head about it. That kind of stuff goes both ways, though. Hitters get their fair share of crummy calls going against them, too. In now, Gio Urshela. No hits to this point. From the stretch, here's the pitch. Nope. That's inside. The 1-0. -oh. 
Oh, that's inside. Now this is the kind of count this guy feeds on at the plate. You can bet he's geared to hit the fastball right here. And a good comeback fastball there. It's two balls and a strike. Gets the sign. Here comes the 2 1. Now here's one hit in the air to the right side. In there, a base hit. And now they'll have runners at the corners to start off the inning. Boy, is that a now thing that of beauty right the there. Point. Hit and run to perfection, mm -hmm. D-Row. Runners at first and third. Yeah, it's exactly what you're trying to do. You don't see it in today's game too much. There's a lot of moving parts, a lot of walks, homers, and strikeouts. But right there, manager sets it in motion, and the hitter just executes to perfection. Stepping in now, Luke Voigt. He swings and grounds it to short. A jumping catch at second for one. On to first, and it's a double play, although the run does come into score from third. It certainly looked like they might have had a big inning cooking there with first and third and no outs, but the double play kind of kills it. They did get the run in, but the batter doesn't get credit for an RBI. In now is the Yankees' DH, Miguel Andujar. First pitch on its way. Sent on the ground out to second. Throw to first in plenty of time and the side is retired. So one run on one hit. No errors and no one left on base. Heart of the order. Three, four, and five coming up. The Yankees lead this one five to one. Digging in, Ramon Urias. And through five turns at bat, they've only mustered a total of three hits. Not terrible, but they're certainly not firing on all cylinders. Well, it's getting a little bit too late in this game that this continues like this. In today's game, with so many dominant bullpen arms, you certainly don't want to wait until the eighth or ninth to try to wake the bats up. Ready to deliver. Here's the first pitch. Hey! A couple of righties starting to loosen now in the bullpen. The wind up and the 0 1. And this ball's heading for the seats down the right side as the count will move to 0 and 2 now. And he looks at a ball, one and two. Boy, he sped him up in this at bat. Now it's time for the changeup. This guy's got a good one, and he hasn't thrown it yet in this at bat. High and deep down the left field line. And this will wind up a foul ball. A ball and two strikes. Here's the pitch. I got to count. Two and two. What a great battle to start this inning. What a great job by the leadoff hitter. He knows that this pitcher's starting to get up there and pitches. The manager's starting to get restless. Let's see if we can knock him out and get into that bullpen. And he struck him out. The tenth victim set down on strikes thus far. That's ten strikeouts for him now, and I'll tell you, he could rack up quite a few more before he's done. Still a lot of game left in this one. Standing in now, Renato Nunez. This will take a look at a slider here that finds the zone for strike one. 0 for 2 for him to this point. On its way, the 0 1 pitch. Fouled off. Looking to punch him out again, the pitch. He'll try to hold back, but he won't be able to as that's ruled a swing, and there are two away now. Fooled him just enough with that pitch to get him to go around, according to the umpire. Sometimes it can be really tough for these big, strong guys because once they're committed to swinging, it's hard for them to slow their swings down, and that appeared to be the case there. And it's fouled away. We're in the sixth inning now of a 5 to 1 ball game. 
set up away with the changeup, but it's one and one. And with just five and two-thirds innings under his belt, he's about to hit the century mark in his pitch count now. Yeah, Matty V, and the way baseball is played these days, it's about six innings or 100 heaves, and you're pretty much looking for that bullpen. And d -Well right now, this guy's pretty vulnerable right now at this game. Yeah, Dan, you were a monster down that bullpen. That's what it seems to be in today's game. There's five or six of you guys hanging out down there. So he's going to empty the bucket. And we'll have to leave it there as this is strike three, and that will retire the side. Three up, three down for the Orioles. They're down here five to one. So back to the top of the Yankee order. Digging in, D.J. LeMayhew. He'll be tasked with starting things as we begin the seventh. Ready with the first pitch. Here it comes. And he jumps at a changeup, a swing and a miss. Looks like a lefty and a right-hander throwing in the Baltimore bullpen. Waved at and missed, and he's behind 0 2. Hit in the air down the right field line. And no one will track it down. Another 0 2 home. And he wasn't going to hit that one with an oar. The strikeout, and there's one gone. Pretty textbook pitching right there. Jump ahead in the count 0 2 and then start working outside the zone. Easier said than done, but that's the way you do it. Into the box, Torres. As he'll watch a slider that stays inside for ball one. He's working on a one for three thus far. The 1-0. Oh, he jumps on this one. It's high and deep to center. And, oh, he missed a home run by a matter of feet. It's off the wall. And he'll reach second now with one away. The white number 99, Aaron Judge. Aaron Judge will stand in again, but first we'll flash you back to the very first inning of the ball game. And here you go, a solo home run that had him off and running early on. From the belt, the pitch. Watches a fastball right there for strike one. Nope. Now a change up, but it misses just a little below the zone. Looked like that one tied him up a bit, a swing and a miss. Seventh inning here in a five to one ball game. Lays off to one two changeup and he's worked it back to two and two. You know he's probably cheating on that inside pitch after he got jammed earlier. If you're on the mound right now, you want to try to hit that outside corner and there's a pretty good chance you'll get him to roll over something. Full count now, three and two. Misses here for ball four. Just the second walk he's issued here into his seventh inning of work. And with first base open, the last thing he wanted to do was give him something to hit in the heart of the zone. So no harm done. Force out anywhere now. Hunter Harvey is out from the bullpen now as he'll get the call here on opening day. Harvey.
Gary Sanchez will be his first assignment here as he'll face him with runners at first and second and one gone. He's ready. Now the pitch. First and second now, one man out. And he fouls this one off. He's set. Here comes the 1 1. And it's 1 and 2. Got him in the chase after the curveball below the zone there. That was a really nice pitch. And it can be a really tough one to lay off of as a hitter. The one two. Oh, it's hit to third. Five. The tag gets one on the first. And talk about doing the job out of the bullpen. One batter, two outs, and the inning is over. Oriole bullpen does the job. We'll move on now to the bottom half of the seventh. Get up and stretch. The Yankees are out in front, 5-1. to one. Stepping up now, Pedro Severino. He starts off the inning against a guy who struck out the side last inning. How do they get to him here? I'm not sure, Matt, that they want to stay as patient. He's been throwing a lot of strikes. They might want to start swinging a little bit earlier in the count. First offering on its way. Maybe trying to back him up a bit there with the fastball. The guy in the mound is having one heck of a night, but the downside of that, if you're going to strike out a lot of guys, your pitch count is going to be high. So this gives the offense some kind of hope as this game's getting down to the end. Two and oh. A couple strikeouts early in the game, but he's done a much better job in this at bat, trying to get ahead and put himself at a good hitter's count. Good slider there gets a swing and miss. This lineup is flailing right now. They're having a hard time just making contact, let alone putting the ball in play. Uh, could have been three and one. Instead, it's two and two. Wow, he's cruising right now out there. Four straight punch outs and working on number five. Here now the 2-2. Okay. Keep in mind, people, the longer the at-bat, the higher the likelihood that this becomes his last inning. Now the 3-2 and two pitch. Is a swing and a miss. That's strike three. A lot of indecision there on that check swing, and that's something you see quite a lot on three and two. When the difference between striking out and drawing a walk in can be an inch or two, it's pretty understandable why guys aren't always aggressive with their swings. Here comes the Yankee manager now up out of the dugout on his way to the mound, and it appears that we've seen the last here in this one of Garrett Cole. So he'll leave here with one out in the seventh as he Your now hopes the bullpen please. can go ahead and now get him the W. Jonathan Loisega is out 43. from the bullpen now as he'll Jonathan. make his first appearance here on the season. Here's Chris Davis now. He's one for two in this one. Infield shifted well to the right. Here's the first pitch. Liner in there for a base hit. He wasn't letting that one go. Jumped on the first pitch right there and drove it into the outfield for a base hit. Number 31. At the plate now, Cedric Mullins. In the dirt here. And a nice job keeping it close. It's ball one. Oh. 
hit in the air out toward left. Stanton has a read on it. And he makes the catch for the second out. Ready now for Baltimore. Hanser Alberto, 0 for 2 from him so far in this one. Alberto. First pitch coming, here it is. Well, if you could throw it for a strike consistently, a first pitch changeup is effective. Hitters are almost never looking for it. And he misses one and one. with it, 1 and 1. From the belt, the pitch grounded up the first baseline, but this will get foul. It's a ball and two strikes. The one two. Ball, that's out. Two out with the man at first. A full count to the Orioles designated hitter. Well this has been a good at bat. He's now worked to count full to three and two. It allows the runner on first to be on the move with two away. Now the payoff pitch home. Swung on and hit in the air out toward left. Stanton is there and he'll put it away to retire the side. Fine work there out of the Yankee bullpen. We'll look ahead to inning number eight now. The Yankees lead it. Five to one. Into the box, Brett Gardner. He'll start us off in the eighth. Brett Gardner. Becomes set. Here's the nothing and nothing pitch. Curveball, and that misses in the dirt for ball one. Fastball at 94 miles an hour and it's one and one. Here's the pitch. Fouled away. Might have jammed him a little there as this is softly hit and foul off to the left. Another one two delivery. Hit out towards second. Fielded cleanly, and the off-balance throw gets him. Nice play for the out. Now back and digging into the batter's box next will be Giancarlo Stanton. A hit in two official trips to the plate to this point in the ball game. Ready with the first pitch. Here it comes. And this is taken outside for ball one. Five-one our score as we play the eighth. Two and zero to the Yankees left fielder. Two zero count. The pitch finds the zone. Strike one. Hey, it looks like this guy's going to work in the upper part of the strike zone. It'll be interesting to see if this lineup can adjust to the way he pitches. And got him to go down after that one, and it's two and two. Classic case of the front shoulder flying open on that off speed. Needs to stay compact and stay in the big part of the field. Bounced softly in front of the plate. On to Davis at first, and there are two away. Now that is. Riding in once again, Gio Urshela. He singled his last time up. He's set. Here it comes. Now a hard liner. But this will be a foul ball. The 1-1. One -one. Takes a pitch for strike number two. Yeah. 
The one two is a breaking ball that can't find the zone and it's even at two. And he misses this one inside and that'll run things full three and two. Now a fastball swung on and missed and that is out number three. One two three go the Bombers. They lead this one though five to one. Back to the top of the lineup, stepping in, Jose Iglesias. And he'll start out the bottom of the eighth inning. It doesn't look very promising so far in this one as we move into the later innings. Down by a bundle, it's time to get some base runners and hopefully a long ball to get them back into this one. The windup and the 0-1. Right side, but it's going to be a foul ball. Here's the 0 and 2. And a changeup swung on and missed for the first down. Boy, there's the perfect pitch right there, the straight changeup. He hadn't used it yet in this at bat, and what does he do? 16. He uses it, pulls the string, and gets the big strikeout. In now, Trey Mancini. And a swing from him yields a foul pop out of play to the right. He's hitless in three at bats to this point. Into the windup, here comes the 0 and 1. Got him to go after that one, and he's in a quick hold 0 and 2. Good waste pitch, one and two. Pretty standard fastball right there, 0 and 2. Now he's changed the eye level of the batter so he can start working something in like an off speed curveball down in the zone. Two balls and two strikes to Mancini now. So you'd love for him to offer at that one, but the execution was flawless. Nice curveball that starts in the zone and breaks okay. just out. Just a great take by the batter. Count full, three balls and two strikes. Bases are empty, one man out. And awfully close there on three and two, but take your base, says Earl Hendricks. It's ball four. Two ways to look at this walk. If you're the hitting the coach, back. you say, that's the a great A-B. Down 0-2 oh, oh. and you work the walk, but if you're a pitcher oh, yeah. like me, that's just a case of letting a guy off the hook, and that can really frustrate you. Striding in, Ramon Urias. He's hitless in his two at-bats so far. He's ready. Here's the first offering. Now the 0 1. Ball that down. Runners on first with one down. And he pumps the fastball by him here. One and two now. And he struck out again. That's the third time he's gone down on strikes in this one. Got him with a good high fastball there. Oh, Danny, we see a lot of that pitch in strikeout situations base, these days. What no, makes no, no. it so effective? I think, Matt, what oh, yeah. makes it such a tough pitch is you're changing eye levels. That fastball up looks so enticing to hit that you think you see that ball as a hitter. Do you think you can drive it? But it's really hard to get on top of that good high hard fastball. So now to the plate, Renato Nunez. Timing just to tick off there as this one's fouled off to the right. They could really use a knock here 0 for 3 in the game so far. And he lays off for ball one. Swing and a line drive. Foul. A runner on first with two away. Oh, 
well above the letters with the fastball that time. And he holds off on the breaking ball, so the count runs full. 3-2, two, two out, runner on first. Lots of possible outcomes on this pitch. Struck him out. Struck him out again, I should say. His third punch out of the game. One left for the Orioles. They're down 5-1. to one. New inning set to get underway. Digging in once again, Luke Voigt. He was a double play victim last time around. Yeah, rolling into a two ball will eat at you for the rest of the game at least. So you know he wants to make up for it right here. Ninth inning begins as the first pitch is taken for ball one. And here's a ball in the air now carrying a bit out toward right center. Mancini is there one quick out to start inning number nine. Now to the plate now is the designated hitter Miguel Andujar so far two for three in this one. Here's the first pitch to him. Comes set and the 0 1. Now a check swing, but he holds up in time. Ball one. And he goes and chops this one out towards second. Reined in. Throw on to first, two gone. Digging in, DJ LeMayhew. He went down on strikes last time up. First offering on its way. It's a high fly ball headed for the left field corner. If it stays fair, it's gone. And it's gone as they add still another. So a solo shot down the line in left. First home run of the campaign for him. And it's now a 6-1 to one ball game. No surprise with that swing of the bat. This guy is simply one of the best in the game right now. There's not too many guys that take a beautiful hack like that in the league. Now batting. To the plate now, Torres. As he'll take a look at an off-speed pitch here that misses for ball one. Two hits in four attempts to this point. Can't sit back long enough and the count evens up at one and one. Two out nobody on. Tries to change up on him there but it's a ball two and one. fouled off it's going to be back to some serious T work if he can't put that pitch in play right in his wheelhouse and there's strike three so we'll see now if they can manage to hold on to this huge lead as the side is retired one in the inning and it comes from a rather unlikely power source last chance coming up for the Orioles it's now six to one in favor of New York Bottom of the inning now, so stepping in, Anthony Santander. He looked to bounce back after striking out his last time up. Yeah, and kind of shocked he got blown away with a fastball. You could tell he was late on that one. And we'll see if he tries to cheat to something this A.B. Hey, there's an old saying in baseball, you need to take a strike in this spot. Well, he got one there. Now he just needs to find a way to get on. Gets the fastball by him here, and he's in control 0-2. 0-2 count. You could do just about anything you want right now. Up, down, in, out, hard, soft. Good time to be a pitcher. Count moves to a ball and two strikes now. The 1-2. And 
and good patience to hold back on the curveball in the dirt. It's full now, three and two. Wow, from 0 and 2 to 3 and 2, and that last pitch on 2 and 2 wasn't even close. He had this guy in the ropes, but now he let him right back into this at bat. Pulled toward right center field. Gardner is there. Makes the play, one away. So coming to the plate, Pedro Severino, who was sat down on strikes in his last at bat. He's ready. Here's the first offering. Hey. Here's the 0 1 pitch. Hey. After two great pitches, he has a lot of options right now. He could bounce something or go elevated fastball. To short, Torres picks it up. To first, and the Orioles are down to their final out. Now Digging in and looking for more, Chris Davis. He comes to the plate as the last chance for his side. Two out here in the ninth. First pitch coming. Here it is. Not close with the off-speed pitch taken for a ball. Downstairs, two balls and no strikes. Bases are empty here with two men out. And wow, that looked to be well inside, but it's a called strike. Two and one now. And the pitch. Swing and a miss, and they're up against it now as they're down to their final strike of the afternoon. Baltimore down to their final strike. Swing and a miss. He struck him out, and that'll do it here as the ball game is over. You might think it's just another win, but it's awfully hard to win in this game, especially on the road. But they find a way to get it done, and they should be very happy with this performance. Six to one, the final tally today. The Yankees posted a three run first to propel them to the win. Garrett Cole earns his first win of the season as he struck out 13 in this one. John Means was only able to work four innings as he takes the loss. So that just about does it for Mark DeRosa, Dan Plezak, Heidi Watney, and our entire crew. I'm Matt Vaskersian. You've been watching MLB The Show. For more, make your way over to theshownation.com.